Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to Mass Effect 3. Let's play. Okay, so actually, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be going for next, if that's the case. Um, oh yeah, look at me stats. Oh, look at, look at all them numbers. Got lots of numbers. They're going to help me. Those numbers are going to help me in this war. Oh, oh, it feels good to not be down there where with the, the screechy bitches. Ugh. No more of that, please. Maybe we'll do some crew talking, actually. They, they didn't talk to me this time. Messages, Commander. Okay. Let's do that first. Emails. Do Omega first. Subject, Bray from Omega. Things are settling down on Omega. Looks like the Talons are the new security force of the station. Their leader said something about ordering uh, Kandros's memory. Uh, I'd say they were being cute, uh, except they're not shy about backing up uh, the statement with firepower. Uh, be careful out there. No, uh, know there's at least one Batarian here that doesn't want you dead. Bray. Was it? Imagine when your daughter turns 18 and... and moves out and you had to destroy yourself for failing at, at your code of ethics yeah that'd be yes that would be a tad upsetting <laughs> um Korean La Lamies 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 okay let's go with Lamies Commander Shepard as of an hour ago Asari High Command has assigned my squad to support you we will ride with hmm, the security <laughs> fleet uh the, sorry, the second fleet until it's time to deploy. Uh, if you'll allow me uh, a personal note, I know a few of the commandos uh, who went down uh, to that monastery. Uh, nothing will bring them back. But hearing that the place went up in smoke is the only good news I've heard in weeks. Ready to serve, Captain uh, Colleen uh, Limit. Corrine Limit. Uh... Headed for the front lines. Samara. Shepard. I finished my business uh, on Lessus. I would offer to travel uh, once again with you on the Normandy, but the code of dictates. Uh, but the code dictates I join uh, the fight where I. Uh, where, where it is most where is most dire. Let me try reading. Uh, while you do your essential work, I will do my best to help. Uh, help hold the front. I must be getting tired because I'm struggling to read. Uh, before I depart, I'll return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. If it does not interfere with your duties, come find me there. Cool, so I'll find her on the Citadel as well. Alright, any talky things at the front? See if there's any RPGs. Yo, all that shit down and nothing? What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the Combuy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. And the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, if there's, if there's an army or a galaxy left. Commander. Let's see, where is it? Uh... Okay, so Lyra, anybody... Huh, Garrus and Javik are in the lounge. I'll have to check that out. Oh, my. Um, what was he going to say? Yeah, I'll probably end up wrapping things up here in the next 40 minutes or so. So I'll probably... So, yeah, I'll probably be start to wind things down a bit. Let's see. Deck. 
Oh, oh why? Yeah, I'm starting. I'm starting to already feel it. Oh yeah, as of uh, the time of this recording, I saw. Um, I saw what was it? Um, Avengers Infi- uh, Infinity War today. Infinity Warfare today. Um, no, not Warfare. Just Infinity War. Um, yeah, that was. Uh, that was an interesting movie. That was that was pretty good. Uh, it did not uh, didn't go the way I expected it would. It was uh, I was I was surprised. I liked it. Let's see. Uh, okay, so neither one of them are here. Oh yeah, they're in the lounge. What's that? Uh, say Nathan, have you? Heard of uh, this new Netflix anime called uh, Agresso? Uh, Agresuko. Uh, no, I have not heard of that. Uh, what's uh, What's that all about? Wait, I was told. Where are they supposed to be? They're in seven. Oh, they're over there. Oh. Oh, they're in the other place. Oh, you mean this thing? Weapon upgrade kit. Uh, This kit uh, can be used for a one-time upgrade to a variety of weapons to increase uh, ammo capacity or potential uh, damage dealt. Uh, Schematics have been scanned into the Normandy's onboard computers. Let's see, uh, ammo capacity or weapon damage. Yeah, capacity. Let's do capacity. Could always use more of that. Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No. Not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures. Nobody deserves that. Okay, nothing there. Perhaps we can talk later. Sure. Alright, let's see let's see what the other guys want. What's that? It's supposed to be a uh, slice of life anime about an uh, overworked office woman uh, whose outlet for anger involves heady metal singing in her head. Huh, okay. Funny thing is, uh, it's made by the same company that made Hello Kitty. Hmm. So, so it looks like maybe they're uh, looking to expand their uh, their franchises, I guess. Huh, oh, excuse me. Is everybody insects? Oh, yeah, actually. Ashley, are you actually going to say anything this time, Ashley? Hey, Commander. It's so... all. I dug out some letters. You sure make oh. some unusual friends, Shepard. Fuck, I just interrupted her. That is not a side of these sorry I ever want to see. Shepard? And that's it. That was great. Alright, what, what about you? What do you Everybody was fighting the Ragnai, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally. The Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. Wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while. And now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jar. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditika preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle mm. conjured a new nightmare. Yeah, that doesn't sound so good. <laughs> this human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Commander. Samar is the kind of soldier we need in this war. 
Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. So who needs their ass kicked now? <laughs> so who needs their ass kicked now? What's that? Uh, if Mass Effect, if the Mass Effect series survives, uh, uh, Mass Effect uh, uh, Andromeda, or survives the EA Armageddon, I'd like to see a prequel uh, uh, starring the Protheans. Yeah, th th that'd be interesting. But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but converting other life forms into Reapers, I, I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. That's true enough. Um, no, honestly, I think I think the best thing that could possibly happen to the uh, to the Mass Effect series is if it gets out of the hands of EA. Um, and you know what actually kind of kills me a little bit about. Um, uh, about the whole Mass Effect Andromeda thing, I was watching a video. Um, I can't remember what the guy's name was. I think he was a I think he was a British guy, and he was talking about. Uh, he did this really long review of um, of Mass Effect Andromeda, and it was it was like long after the game came out. It was after all the the bugs and everything and patches came out, um, and he basically talked about the fundamental problems with the game and why it failed. And one of the things that really stung was that he was looking at this 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 open scene, and there was like asteroids in in the sky or something. It was just gorgeous visually. It was a beautiful thing to look at, but okay, that's Tom all it had going mission. for it. Horizon. No fair. I hadn't joined up with you yet. Fine, the Dead Reaper then. Really? The husks just ran up to us. Have you ever noticed that I carry a sniper rifle? You're the one who likes things at short range. And you prefer to keep everything at a distance. From husks? Absolutely. Creepiest thing we fought. The Thorian. Your turn. I'm going with the Rachni. The Queen? But we didn't fight her either time. No, the little ones. They look like spiders and they scuttle right toward you. I thought you liked it when things got up close and personal. Not when it's spiders. <laughs> What's that uh, DNC uh, takes notes from uh, Garrus he, know, he knows what he's talking about <laughs> I can't wait to finally take down Cerberus what happened at Sanctuary was terrible hopefully we'll have the catalyst soon yeah yeah well we'll see about that <laughs> hey Hey. Hey. Uh, okay, so I guess that's it on this floor. Anybody else on this floor? Uh, no, no. Is there anything else I can say to Diana? Like, wrong room anyway? Whatever. Okay. All right, let's go down to the final floor. And, geez, you know, I'm actually... Uh, Oh, I might have to end this uh, stream uh, sooner than expected. I'm actually like starting to starting to struggle a little bit. Hey, Steve. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. It sounded like quite an ordeal getting that Turian reactor up and running. I've been through worse. Well, glad you were able to get some help from Captain Riley's team. Sometimes I forget we aren't all alone in this war. Sir. And then what's his name? Um, James. 
Scuttlebutt says we're going to Thessia. Now that Doc's gonna want to go. I know I would if it was Earth. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Um. All right. So let me just. Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm actually. Um, I'm actually far more uh, tired than I thought it would be. I don't think I can continue this stream tonight. So. Um, so yeah, I think that'll probably be the end of uh, this episode, but uh, we'll pick up with something interesting next time. Maybe next time I'll get to the Leviathan DLC. That was fun, but I'll have to pause it there. If you enjoy my content and want to see more, do some of the stuff that the screen is telling you, and check out my other stuff. If you want to see me play live, check out the links in the description. Come talk to me, maybe even play with me. That is it for this episode, and I will see you in the next game.